This week's parasha, Parashat Vayikra, goes into detail about the laws of the five korbanot that were brought in the times of the Beit HaMikdash. Now, what was the purpose of the korbanot? So we understand this from the shorash of the korban, which is kufresh bet, or karo, which means near, to get close. The korbanot were a way for B'nai Yisrael to get closer to Hashem and to strengthen their relationship with Hashem, either through bringing a korban as a gift offering, as a way of saying thanks, or as a way of doing teshuva to be forgiven for a sin. Nowadays, instead, we know we don't have korbano, but instead we do have tefillah. We have um, the ability to pray to Hashem. Um, and we know that when we pray to Hashem, it's we are acknowledging Hashem's mastery and control over the whole entire world. We know that Wherever we are, no matter what time, no matter what circumstance we're in, Hashem can hear us and hears our prayers. And it doesn't matter what language it's in, Hashem is always listening. Um, we have to always be aware of the fact that Hashem is always listening and we can't ever think that we can hide from Hashem or we could do something small and get away with it because no matter what, Hashem always sees what's going on and always hears what's going on. And therefore, with that in mind, it should help us be able to make sure that we don't sin with the knowledge that Hashem is always watching us and Hashem can always hear us. And with that, we should always have in mind that we can always pray to Hashem and always ask forgiveness or give thanks for whatever it is that we need or would like to express. With that, I wish everybody a Shabbat Shalom.